bring your feet just out in front. You got this. You so got this. Yeah, we're going back out. Can't do this. Too scared. Do y'all know how high up you are at the moment? Pretty. That's 1,168 feet. How do you feel after edge walk? Happy it's done. <laughs> about 116 building stories or just really high up. If you want to think about it that way. As soon as we left that door, my feet and my shins went weak. Great job, Marissa and Marissa. Yeah, that's exactly it. So worst case scenario, if you do start falling, grab onto it. Edgewalk. I don't know if this is an exit. Not kind of. Where's the CN Tower? It is. So worst case scenario, if you do start falling, you can grab, onto grab onto it. We're almost there. So we passed the security now. We're going to Edward. We, uh, they called us up at security, but we had a 7 o'clock. Okay, I need you guys to fill your waivers ASAP. Okay. Marcin and Marisa. Yeah. yeah. Uh, front and back, right over there. Bring them back to me. Okay. Okay, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. Too scared. Yeah, we're going back out. Can't do this. Too scared. Too scared. How do you feel? Feel good and sober. So bye bye camera. Let's have a look. What a beautiful night we have out here on the edge walk. Gorgeous evening. Got some folks out over there. And that's still a long way down. Welcome to Edge Walk. All right, Tom, come and check it out. All right, Tom. Could you head around? Could you head around to the white camera there for me, please? Good job. Jan. Jan. And then we have Jane, Larry. Marcin. Yeah, there he goes around the corner here. Sharon and then Elizabeth on the end. Do y'all know how high up you are at the moment? 356 meters. That's 1,168 feet. About 116 building stories or just really high up. Another 31 building stories up. We have SkyPod. If you see anyone, give them a big wave. They might wave back. They might try to take your photograph eventually. You have adoring fans up there and they're gonna think that you're rock stars down here in red, which of course you are. Now this platform that you're standing on today is a meter and a half wide or five feet. That is the average width of a Toronto city sidewalk. So if you walk on the sidewalk, like I said, you can walk on the edge walk. The difference being you're safely attached up here as well. You ready for your first warm up activity? All right, so I'm gonna show you first. This is called Toes Over Toronto and it's nothing like it sounds. Just kidding, it's exactly as it sounds. What you'll be doing is you grab hold of your ropes. Then you'll take some brave steps forward until just your toes are over the edge. Once you're there, sit nice and tall. Please do not lean forward. That's crazy. And we do that on the other side. If you're feeling good, then you can let go. And if you're feeling really good, you can have a look down. Hello, Toronto! You can yell whatever you want as loud as you want because no one is going to hear you. We're going to start in the very end. Elizabeth, you can go first. That's it, Elizabeth. You got this. All right, can you let go of your rope? Nice job. All right, you can stay there if you want to. Sharon, coming up. Great job, Sharon. Awesome. Marcin, coming up. Great job, Marcin and Marissa. That's it, awesome. Larry, coming up as well. Awesome, can you let go of your rope there, Larry? <laughs> coming up, Jane. Austin, can you let go of your rope from there? Nice work, all right, Jan. 
They are Jan, nice. All right, and Tom, last but not least. Great work. So that was just the warm up activity. We warmed up, of course, to do the lean back. What you'll do is you grab hold of your rope, then you have a seat down, just like you're sitting in a chair. So full body weight in your harness, your feet flat out in front of you here, walking backwards with your heels until they're right over the edge, and you can feel the edge in the arches of your feet. From there, dig your heels in against the side of the tower until your legs are nice and straight, locking your knees, and then push your shoulders right back for a nice full body lean. What if your legs give up? All right, it's not gonna happen, but <laughs> we're, you're very aware of your feet out there and we're gonna watch you very well as well. You know what, if you have any questions while you wait, you can ask Elizabeth because she's gonna go first. Oh, okay. All right, so have a seat right down there, Elizabeth. That's it, bring your feet just out in front. Then you can push yourself backwards with your heels. Let's That's it, Elizabeth, you got it. That's it, you're almost there. There you go, now, yeah, push back against the tower so your legs are nice and straight. There you are. <laughs> Double high five. <laughs> nice. Awesome. I'm going to leave you here with Colin. He's going to help make you feel more comfortable. Okay, ready? Have a seat right down there, Sharon. Go ahead and push yourself back. Right? Nice straight legs, shoulders right back. Great job. All right, Marston, have a seat right down. All right, go ahead and walk yourself back. All right, nice straight legs, shoulders back. Yeah, exactly. Great job. All right, Nurse, you got this. You got this. First step is just having a seat. All the way down. It's going to pull you back, but just into a chair. You're still on this platform here. That's it. Yeah, great job. So just sit down here with me here. You're just sitting back into a chair. That's the only way it's pulling you. So sit all the way down there, Nursa. All the way. Yeah, give in, give in to that. There you go. Bring your feet just out in front. You got this. You so got this. Yep, bring your feet just out in front of your knees here. It's going to be a lot easier that way. You're still on the platform. You're not even over the edge yet. Yep, keep walking backwards so your heels are right over. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's much easier that way. There you are. Now you can push your heels against the side of the tower so your legs are nice and straight. That's exactly it. You got it. Great job. Awesome. Great job. All right, I'm going to leave you here with Colin. Again, he's going to give you some more tips. Everybody, so have a seat right down. All right, bring your feet just out in front. You can rock back if that's easier. There you go. And push yourself backwards. All right, there you are. And you can dig your heels in against the side of the tower. Just think down and out. So you push back against the side of the tower. So your legs are nice and straight. You lock in your knees. There you are. It's like you've done this before. <laughs> are you ready? No. All right, we'll take it a step at a time. So you can have a seat down first, just like you're sitting in a chair. So it will pull you back, but just into a chair. There you go. You can bring your feet just out in front as well. Now you can push yourself backwards with your heels. So it's just like you're rolling back in an office chair. Just push your, pushing your body backwards with your heels. You're about a foot away. You've got this a few inches yet. You're almost there. You're right on the edge. So perfect with that foot. Awesome. Now dig your heels in against the side of the tower. So push back against the side so your legs are nice and straight. Lock in your knees and sink right into your heels because you're there. You're there? Yeah, you got it! Great job! Nice! Awesome! All right. Ready? So you're going to have a seat right down just like you're sitting in a chair. So again, it's going to pull you back, but just into a chair. Feet out in front. Awesome. Now you can push yourself backwards with your heels. That's it, Jan. Awesome. You're a foot away. All right. You're almost there now. Perfect. Now you can push your heels in against the side of the tower so your legs are nice and straight. Lock in your knees. Of course, a double high five. <laughs> All right, Tom, let's get you out there. So you can have a seat right down, that's it. Then you can go ahead and push yourself backwards with your heels. Awesome, nice straight legs, shoulders right back. Excellent work, all right, eight out of eight. Lena now, we're over the six. So with nice straight legs, you can push your shoulders right back and give some waves to your fans. What do you think is next? Forwards, that's right, so this time, Tom, you're gonna go first. So right into that second line there, Tom. Push your rope out in front. Now lean forward like a plank and tilt all up in your shoulder. That's it, Tom. Yeah, let it all go, go nice and snug up along your shoulder. If you're feeling good, you can let go. Yeah, great job, Tom. All right. And on his toes. 
into where the rope is. All right, can you let go? Great job. All right, bring yourself back in. Marcy, coming up. Right into that second line. Bring your toes back just a little bit. This second line right here, right where my toes are. There you go. So right now, yeah, it's okay. Rope right out in front. Then you can lean forward right into your rope from there like a plank. All right, yeah, just like that. Then you can let go of your rope. Yeah, that's exactly it. Great job. All right, coming up, Sharon. All right, so widen your stance there, Sharon. Yeah, rope out in front. Bring your body into where the rope is. There you go. Nice job. Can you get up your toes? Oh, yeah, bring your body into the rope. There you go. All right, Elizabeth coming up. Rope out in front. It's a little, you want it nice and snug up along your shoulders. So push it out, bring your body in. All right, and then you can let go. Great job, all right. You're all official edge walkers. You let forward, backward, you put your toes over. Congratulations! You're all leaving with certificates of achievement today. Here at the Edge Walk, we hold the Guinness World Record for the highest external hands-free walk of a building. So not bad for Saturday. Great job, everyone. This is the worst part of the tour. It is time to go back inside, so take one last look down. Grab hold of your ropes. We're gonna go down that same incline that we came up today. And you can follow me around this way. Thank you, Marissa. Thank you, Marissa. Great job. <laughs> Have a wonderful rest of your time here in Toronto, and thank you for coming to visit us here at Edgewalk at the CN Tower. Safe travels. All right, well, we just finished. We're undressing. How was it? Uh, it's weak in the knees. <laughs> oh, really good. You look terrified. You don't look terrified at all. I guess I'm giving the drink. Yeah. <laughs> You'll never know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so. Alright, there you are. Is that finished? Yeah, they're all So the rest of the pictures are on here? No. How much are the extra photos? So you get all of the extra photos for 25 USD. How do you feel after Edge Rock? Happy it's done. As <laughs> soon as we left that door, my my feet, like right here, and my shins went weak. I was scared that like my feet would just do this. We just give out. Yeah. My knees were hurting, I think, because I was scared. <laughs> and my shoes were loose. So would you recommend this? It depends. If you're scared of heights. I'm scared of heights. Uh, so because I do these things doesn't mean that I enjoy it. <laughs> There's a guy hanging around right there. We could do that in your building. Just call on the roof. Except we won't have a harness. Yeah. So that's the only difference. And it's a little higher. It would be better because there's no rain. You'd be a little more cautious, therefore more fearful. Which means a better experience. Better experience. <laughs>